my name is Guy Wallace and I'm here to talk to you about the PACT processes. PACT is all about enterprise learning versus personal learning or educational learning. It is targeted at the enterprise learning context. PACT, the acronym, stands for performance-based, accelerated, customer and stakeholder driven training and development of any blend. PACT is all about performance. We believe in focusing on the performance requirements and enabling that. Performance competence we define as the ability to perform tasks, to produce outputs, to all stakeholder requirements. PACT is a set of five methodologies including curriculum architecture design, modular curriculum development, instructional activity development, which is the third of three levels of instructional systems design in the PACT methodologies. Those are supported by a common PACT analysis set of methodologies and a common set of project planning and management methodologies. The curriculum architecture design methodology involves four phases that can be combined as needed or kept separate, typically kept separate to conduct the project steering team gate review meetings at the conclusion of each phase of the efforts. Modular curriculum development, the ADDIE version uh, within PACT, involves six phases, project planning and kickoff, analysis, design, development and acquisition of content that already exists for use as is or after modification, then pilot testing, and eventually revisions and release into ongoing deployment or access systems. Instructional activity development follows the MCD processes as it produces a subset of a typical instructional product such as performance tests, other application exercises, demonstrations, or content that might be part of an overall instructional product, but if the client needs one of the pieces prior to the others, there is a way to approach that and eventually, if appropriate, build out the rest of the instructional products. PACT is scalable and enables targeting of any part of the enterprise and the processes that need to be enabled. PAC produces a performance-based training and development path or learning path or knowledge path or development path. It's been called many names over the years. What's important is that the path, which represents the totality of the content, both formal and informal, is the planning guide, which enables a focus on and a down select of all of the content of a path to what is appropriate to a specific learner and their performance context. PACT enables scrutiny of all of the content that is recommended or mandated or elective. The intent of the training and development path is to be as rigid as required and as flexible as feasible. The coding of an initial training and development path includes content that is available as is or partially available if that's the case and also identifies the gaps. The curriculum architecture design methodology is intended to be predictive in terms of the cycle time, the burden on all participants, and the costs as well as the quality of the output. Curriculum architecture design efforts do not produce any new content. They simply define what is required to enable performance, what exists that can be used as is or after modification, and what the gaps are. That leads to modular curriculum development efforts and instructional activity development efforts to build out the gaps or to complete the content that needs modification. The modular curriculum development phases enables predictability also in terms of cycle time, the burdens on all participants, the costs, and the quality of the outputs. PAC relies on a data logic 
This packed data logic ties performance analysis to both curriculum architecture design and modular curriculum development, as well as instructional activity development, a subset of MCD. This enables a change management approach for keeping the content current and building out the priority gaps. PACT is all about authentic reuse, as is or after modification. The PACT logic requires an enterprise contact architecture logic as well. This ties both to the organization as it is, perhaps a functional orientation versus a process orientation, and is both functional oriented and process oriented. PAC focuses on push target audiences and also serves pull target audiences. The PAC processes are best accomplished via participation of master performers, other subject matter experts, sometimes novice performers, and sometimes management and supervisory personnel. They're involved in the analysis teams, the design teams, and any development teams. The PAC processes requires management of data. Prior to use of authoring tools of any type, the PAC tool organizes the projects for curriculum architecture design and modular curriculum development and captures all of the analysis data and design data. That can be then used to feed any authoring tools that you have, which will eventually feed your learning management systems and your learning content management systems depending on which ones you have. What is the point? The point is all about the returns. Those returns are increased performance impact due to the performance orientation in the analysis efforts and an increase in modular design reuse, both as is and after modification. This will reduce development times and costs, inventory system costs, administrative systems costs, deployment system costs, and maintenance system costs. This is detailed in my 404 page book Lean ISD, which was an award winner from ISPI back in 2002. Also available are free packed audio podcasts that will give more detail. The concept of curriculum architecture and the methodology using a group process was first published in Training Magazine in 1984. By that time I had done seven projects going back to 1982. At this point in my life I've done 74 of these and managed a staff that had done over a hundred others and developed clients and their staff and they have done hundreds as well. It is a proven methodology. The Lean ISD book was reviewed by the late Gary Rumler back in 1999. He also redesigned my book cover, which is shown here. Mickey Lane also wrote a review in 1999 about this book. Other reviewers recommended this book for instructional development processes in business and industry. Another client wrote that they found the book very useful as a resource after they had experienced several of these projects. Again, PACT is about performance-based instruction. It's an accelerated process through its use of teams and common and consistent methodologies and tools. PACT is all about collaboration, but more importantly than that, it enables the customer and stakeholders to drive the decisions that are inherent in any instructional systems design effort. It produces training and development, or learning, or knowledge management content of any blend. 